Alright guys, well, we're still out here herping in the Piedmont of North Carolina, and uh, we were walking along this uh, creek over here, and uh, Wayne spotted this uh, Eastern American Toad, or Bufo Americanus. Uh, this is another lifer for me, I've never seen one before. Uh, I'm used to seeing uh, Southern Toads and Fowler's Toads, and uh, the difference between Fowler's Toads is that the warts, or the black spots, usually have three or more warts on each spot. But American toads usually have one or two on each spot. And also, the cranial crests on a southern toad are much higher than uh, American toads and Fowler's toads. So, it's pretty distinctive. Uh, the belly is sometimes blotched or spotted, but this one isn't necessarily spotted. It's more of a plain belly. It might be an inter uh, intergrade between a Fowler's and American toad. But, uh, yep, they have a very beautiful sounding call. It's uh, like a musical trill very loud if you grab him he might do a release call and uh... i don't know it just uh... very beautiful toad their eyes are amazing uh, also the difference between this and uh... Fowler's toads is the Fowler's toads uh... cranial crests do not connect to the paratoid glands um, they're actually uh... spaced but on these ones they're actually touching the paratoid glands but uh... yet yeah, just an average ground cover colored toad nothing too special but it's something new for me pretty cool a species all its own in North Carolina they're kinda of funny looking aren't they so yep uh, we'll probably let him go see you guys later